My guest today was at the heart of the leaps forward in changes here in Lagos, Nigeria. Her husband was the governor and now a minister. Mrs. Fashola, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, there's so much we want to talk to you about, but let's start with the, uh, the turning point for you uh, as a Christian. When you think back to your earliest memories of your journey and relationship with Jesus, what pictures come up for you? Um, the pictures that come up for me as a Christian would be um, when I gave birth to my first child. Who is now 23, by the way, even though you look like you're just in your 30s. He's 23 and is a lawyer. Um, was that, um, you know, that I was pregnant and was able to carry it through and then delivered without going into the experience of labor that most women talk about, that I've heard various uh, all sorts of stories about going into labor 24 hours, 48 hours, and all that, you know, within the twinkle of an eye. Oh. I just give birth to him. So. By the way, I, I have to say, full disclosure for, for anyone watching around the world, uh, discovered years back that uh, you are uh, an in-law of mine because my brother's wife, you're her auntie, her mum's sister. Uh, and that why, so let me ask you, what, what are your stories of Ibadan, especially of Okiofa, because that's where my, my grandfather lived. I remember, I remember that from being a five-year-old or six-year-old. What are Mrs. Vashola's memories of Okiofa and Ibadan? Well, I guess my remembrance of Ibadan would be one, when I went to school, I finished my secondary school in UGD, girls' grammar school. And then when we usually uh, go home during the Christmas holiday and New Year when my father was alive. So we were always there in the family house there at um, Oji. And we were all just celebrating. Their own family members would come because my father was the head of the family then. So everyone would come and we would all celebrate, eat, merrymaking. And when there are festivals, I know people used to come around and all that. So but it's quite a quiet, it's a quiet place. It's a peaceful place. And it's a tight community, so to say, that most people know themselves, really. So if any stranger comes in there, you get to know. Well, who are some of the people that made an impact on you in terms of your faith in Jesus? Uh, when you look back now as a, as a young, younger person, who are some of the people you, 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 you remember, you think, hmm, he made an impact, she made an impact. She, she, she told me something I did not know before. Now that's a part of my life. Well, my mother, my mother actually led me to Jesus. Uh, she's one of those who started the charismatic renewal, which is like the Pentecostal now in the Catholic church. So back, back, uh, back in the days, she was always traveling and praying and all, and was always taking us for prayer. And we were doing all those fasting and praying and praise and all that. And you know, she was one of those who was spreading the word of God and... Um, so your, your mother was, was one. Any other names that come to mind that, that made significant impact on you in those early years? Ora Roberts and um, the Billy Grahams, you know, listening to them preach, talk about Jesus. So you were exposed to all, of, all the televangelists back then? Yes, I was. Because my mother would tell you she, she, doesn't, she doesn't compromise when it comes to God. And she will tell you that you can do whatever, but you must know God and you must have a relationship with God. You may go to whatever church. It's not so adamant to say that you must be in the Catholic church or whatever, but just know God and have relationship with God. And I know that um, till date, I, re I really do not call my mother mom. I call her Mama Ladura because that's what everybody calls her. And, and for those who are not familiar, Mama Ladura means? She's a prayer warrior. Literally translated is that Mother of who prayer, prays. mother who prays. Mother who prays. And so she's, she's got a she's real... On, that's it. If you have challenges, have anything, she will tell you, can you pray? If you can pray, let's join hands, let's pray. So everyone knows her as Mama Ladu. And is that something that you carried on yourself as, as a, a prayer? In a subtle warrior? way. I'm not, called, I'm not called Mama Ladu, <laughs> but I love my God. <laughs> and people know that I walk daily towards 
salvation. How much, how much of that uh, that you got from your mother informs uh, how you are? Because one of the reputations you have is uh, Mrs. Fashola will go to an event, uh, whether a big event or a small event, Christian event, that you stay till the end, that you see, you see it through till the last drop. Why? Because the event has got to do with God. And I have nothing to give him other than praise. So if I'm at any event that has got to do with praise, worship, I am worship and thanksgiving, why not? Why do I want to go back home? When I get back home, I'm just watching telly. I may not be able to sit with my Bible. Mm -hmm. But that praise and worship, if it's six hours praise, 12 hours praise, seven hours praise, or some kind of um, uh, thanksgiving, it gives me an opportunity to at least spend quality time in the, uh, in the presence of my Lord. Speaking of quality time, um, your husband, who's as one of the most celebrated governors of, of the state, now a, a minister, uh, uh, I gather that his love for soccer is, uh, is something to, con to contend with. How do you, being the first lady, with the volume of things you have to grapple with as, as a couple, when you do have the downtime to have to uh, uh, share it with football? Well, I got to love football through him as well. Mm -hmm. So, and he's a fan of Man U. And I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so I am a supporter of Man U as well. So I get to sit with him, discuss a little that I know about football. And I know he loves to play as well. Mm -hmm. So if he does nothing at all, he would play his football every Sunday. Mr. 